何Hey, what's up everybody? Back with a, another Blu-ray haul update and ended up picking up a couple of things in these past weeks that have jumped past quicker than I thought they would, but hey, it is what it is. Finally picked up a game I kept saying I was actually going to get. Caught it at a very good price, so I went for it. And that game, of course, is Mortal Kombat 11. I had to resist buying this to actually add some uh, money to actually spend without having to worry about it. So, caught this on sale too. So, of course, picked up that Mortal Kombat 11. Everybody and their grandma has been playing it, but finally got my copy. So, we'll be cracking that open and check that out. Next thing I picked up was a movie. I did not make it to the actual movie theater to actually see it, but I did enjoy the first movie a lot. I really, really, really liked the first movie. This one came out, and they actually made a nice profit off of this too, so you never know they might make a part three, but I really do like the uh, detail on the slip for this, and that would be Happy Death Day 2. No, well, happy death day to you at least. But I like the way they did the slip on this. That's a nice slip. Looking forward to check this one out to see uh what they actually do to stop the killer in this version and uh who the actual damn killer is this go around. So that should be very interesting. Next thing I picked up was a movie I kept going back and forth on trying to decide if I was gonna just get the standard release of it or get the still book of it. Since I have, I think, the second one just in standard, I said, hell, might as well pick up the uh, steelbook version since this, since this is the last movie. Well, at least the last movie for now. So, I went ahead and picked up How to Train Your Dragon to Hit the World. I've seen the uh, review for this for the 4K version, even the Blu-ray, just the regular Blu-ray, they say it is a very, very, very nice ass picture on this, so we'll see how it looks in 4K with that HDR popping. So, pick that up as well. Next thing I picked up was a game I wanted to get when it first came out, but I held back on it because I had too many damn backlogs of games I need to go through and beat anyway, but caught this for a very, very, very cheap price. I said, hey, I'll pick it up. I think it was like 17 or 18 when I got it, so I bought it. And that would be So Caliber 6, of course, starring your boy as a special guest star, uh, Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher games. Always been a big Soul Calibur fan back since the uh, PlayStation 1 games. Well, when it released on PlayStation 1. Always loved some Soul Calibur, and my favorite character on Soul Calibur is Mitsurugi, so there you have it. Pick this up. Can't wait to jump into that and uh, do some slicing and dicing. Next thing I picked up was something I kept going back and forth for because I didn't know if I wanted to continue getting the, I guess, the limited edition sets of them, but said what the hell, I don't dive in this far, I might as well do it. Picked this one up a little while ago, and that would be My Hero Academia Season 3 limited edition version that comes with all the extra stuff, so picked this up finally. Almost didn't do it, but I said, hell, I got the rest in this version. I might as well get this too, so picked up my Hero Academia. And the last thing I picked up was a movie that I heard about. Didn't anything bad about it. Got it for a good price, and that would be Dragged Across Concrete. When I picked this up, I think it was on sale at Amazon for like 11 or 12 bucks. So I went for it. I said, that won't kill me too bad. So picked up Dragged Across Concrete with a plethora of people. Mel Gibson, Vince Vaughn, Tori Kittles, Michael J. White. Yeah, so I'm going to have to check that out. So 
picked up track across concrete and I think this is the same director who did yeah it says it on the front who did a uh, cell block um 99 I like that movie he did bone toma uh, what is it bone tomahawk too but I didn't see that movie yet I know Kurt Russell is in that one but I have not seen bone tomahawk oh, wait a minute yeah Jennifer Carpenter was in a uh, cell block 99 too with Vince Vaughn so pretty interesting so that's everything I picked up this go around. Drag it across concrete. My Hero Academia Season 3, Part 1. They really know how to get that money out of us. So they're breaking the seasons into Part 1s and 2s so they can sell more. But it is what it is. So, Caliber 6. How to Train Your Dragon the Hidden World. 4K Steel Book from Best Buy. Happy death day to you. And of course, have Mortal Kombat 11. So, that's everything I picked up this go around. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Have you picked any of these up? Have you watched them? Do you plan on picking any of them up? But, otherwise than that, I will catch you all in the next one. Alright everybody.